Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture reading with Ayaba Jean. And today's scripture reading comes from the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21, and it reads as follows. My son, have you sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for your former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for if you come too near it, it will bite you. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword, the wounds whereof cannot be healed. To terrify and do wrong will waste riches. Thus the house of proud men shall be made desolate. A prayer out of a poor man's mouth reaches to the ears of Elohim, and his judgment comes speedily. He that hates to be reproved is in the way of sinners, but he that fears Yahuwah will repent from his heart. An eloquent man is known far and near, but a man of understanding knows when he slips. He that builds his house with other men's money is like one that gathers himself stones for the tomb of his burial. The assembly of the wicked is like tow wrapped together and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. The way of sinners is made plain with stones, but at the end there is the pit of Sheol. He that keeps the Torah of Yahuwah gets the understanding thereof, and the perfection of the fear of Yahuwah is wisdom. He that is not wise will not be taught, but there is a wisdom which multiplies bitterness. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel, and he will hold no knowledge as long as he lives. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding hears it, it displeases him and he casts it behind his back. The talking of a fool is like a burden in the way, but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. They inquire at the mouth of the wise man in the assembly, and they shall ponder his words in their heart. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool, and the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet, and like manacles on the right hand. A fool lifts up his voice with laughter, but a wise man scarcely smiles a little. Learning is unto a wise man as an ornament of gold, and like a bracelet upon his right arm. A foolish man's foot is soon in his neighbor's house, but a man of experience is ashamed of him. A fool will peep in at the door into the house, but he that is well nurtured will stand without. It is the rudeness of a man to hearken at the door, but a wise man will be grieved with the disgrace. The lips of talkers will be telling such things as pertain not unto them, but the words of such as have understanding are weighed in the balance. The heart of fools is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. When the wicked curses Satan, he curses his own soul. A whisperer defiles his own soul and is hated wheresoever he dwells. That was the scripture reading of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 21. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.